It is Thursday, market day at Impoho, a predominantly farming community in the western region. But our interest today is not the district capital, but the adjoining areas that make up the district's food basket. It is a journey we anticipated to be bumpy because Impoho, for decades, has become synonymous with bad roads. But the ride would later turn out to be more tortuous. The news team had to abandon its car and use motorbikes since cars hardly ply the Impoho Amuzukrum stretch. So we begin the journey at about 7 a.m. in order to catch up with the farmers transporting their produce to the market. About five minutes into the trip, what lies ahead becomes abundantly clear. This taxi driver, after daring to brave the deplorable roads, is seen telling passengers to get down and that he can no longer continue the journey. However, it appears those more defiant than the taxi driver are in for a serious test of endurance. Journey impossible. Finally, the vehicles bolt out and the journey is back on track. But majority of inhabitants make the journey on foot. Due to the slippery nature of the roads, these residents remove their sandals to achieve balance as they trek sure-footedly to various destinations. Children who trek to far-flung places to seek formal education are also not spared as they are compelled to use Wellington boots. The roads are really terrible. The potholes are just bad. Now students cannot go to school without wearing Wellington boots. Besides, by the time you get to school, your uniform is soaked with mud. Yesterday, I had to change my uniform twice. Access to health care for communities without health centers is hampered in Impoho. Pregnant women in labor dying or experiencing miscarriage due to bad roads is a common occurrence here. Now, even vehicles to transport pregnant women is a challenge because of the bad roads. Days ago, my sister lost her pregnancy because of the roads. The situation needs critical attention. The roads have really deteriorated. Cars are not even plying the stretch. If not for the motorbikes, we would have been stranded. Look at my sister with her baby. This is not even safe. This is the state of the roads here in the Impoho constituency of the Western region. It is a very difficult situation for residents. A lot of them farmers who are unable to bring their produce from their farms because this deplorable road is serving as a hurdle between the farmers and the market and right ahead of me you, you realize that a lot of them are walking to their various destination it is a tedious exercise that they would have to contend with every single day due to the deplorable roads my harvested cocoa are rotting away on the farm we can't even carry a bag of cocoa to the market. This has brought untold hardships on us. Are we really part of Ghana? I want to ask. Look at all the roads. No vehicle is moving. 
The food crops are all rotting away in the bushes. This has brought nothing but hunger. All our produce are going bad because of the roads. We cannot move the crops or even carry them on our hands because of the long stretch. Even commercial motor riders are struggling to use the road. Today is market day, yet we can't move. We are really suffering. Broken down vehicles like the case of these trucks loaded with palm fruits and timber are very common sights in Impoho. As we journey, we see farmers who have been standing along the bushes since the crack of dawn with their harvested crops, but no vehicle to transport them. For decades, this has been the daily struggle for these poor farmers who break their backs to keep the country food secure. Most of the cocoa, plantain and cassava they harvest never get to the market, but rot away due to the long-standing deplorable roads. I had a young man who was a young man. Here, we are predominantly into farming, yet the roads are not allowing us to access the market. Look at the cassava. No transportation. Our cocoa are no longer bringing money because of the sorry state of the roads. At this point, clay and stones have clogged our motorcycle chains and movement is becoming arduous. Our riders are left with no option than to scoop dirty water from one of the many potholes on the road to wash off the mud. Residents here tell me the deplorable roads have been worsened by the activities of illegal miners, also known as Galamse. A claim district chief executive from Poho, Ignatius Asamensa, flatly denies. Okay, so as far as the head of the district security council is concerned, no Chinese nationals are mining illegally in this constituency. For that, for that, for that one, it has not come to our notice. It has not come to our notice. Uh, I've not cited one yet, though. I've not cited one yet. But I'm, uh, my my, if any information of that sort come up, the police commander is quick enough to uh, put his men on the road. As Ghana heads to the polls on December 7, roads are a major election issue for these residents. No road, no vote. This year. No roads, no votes. People cannot even use their motorbikes. We are not voting in this year's election. We have not benefited from voting over the years. This year, we won't vote. But the DCE contends the roads have been awarded for rehabilitation, except that execution is facing challenges. What the, the whole district would want to see is a speedy um, um, construction on our roads. On our roads, in fact, the, our roads has deteriorated and it is very deplorable. We would want that all contractors, if you are watching me, please kindly speed up. Poor road infrastructure in rural communities does not only affect production and distribution of food, but also fuels a vicious cycle of inequality in rural areas. If Ghana is to realize zero hunger and end extreme poverty by 2030 as encapsulated in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, frantic and pragmatic steps would have to be taken to boost agricultural activities in rural areas areas and improve the commercial capacity of smallholder farmers. 
the narrative of bad roads as a major impediment in farming communities in Ghana must change for the better. Red One, Karim Dini Osman, GH1 News, Impoho, Western Region.